Hey guys, it's your boy Ruff, and welcome back to another World of Tanks video. And I kind of want to talk about where I wanted to actually take the channel now. I've been a little back and forth on it. And I had a request um, from a subscriber that was like, hey, I really want to see World of Tanks, you know, and that's kind of what I originally got here. And so, you know, I thought about it and he's right. I mean, a lot of my subscribers did come from my earlier videos with World of Tanks and I love playing World of Tanks. And I looked at a lot of other YouTubers out there and they've built a nice solid base with a, a single game and then moved on to other games. And so I think that that's going to be my goal is to kind of build a nice base with World of Tanks, not only because I want to build a good community around World of Tanks, but I love the game. Now, uh, this is going to be just a straight shot. I'm not editing this video at all. So if you do hear me, take a break, uh, pause, uh, maybe to grab a drink or just take a breath, uh, please uh, I apologize. But again, I think just taking this all in one take would be best to be able to show you guys live how I search for help on these websites that we're going to be talking about today and kind of where this is going to start so this is going to be a first of a series that i was going to do and and then i eventually dropped it called know your tank and so we're going to actually it's going to be a really good guide hopefully to help newer players who are just getting into world of tanks uh, since it is still fairly new on the playstation and to help players get better because that's the whole point we all want to get better and so that's what this series is going to be about. And today we're going to look at some things outside of the game, which is why I'm on my computer uh, recording this. And then we'll get further, further in the series, talk about light tanks and how to play those, and medium tanks, etc. So this is the first video of the series. And so I hope you guys enjoy the series. And, and the plan from here on out is to... Uh, I'm going to record the other uh, the in-game um, videos and edit those and have those done so I can get them out to you um, on a consistent basis. I don't want to be forced to feel like I'm trying so hard to play and just get a video out really quickly. So I might be a little bit longer for the first video, but as soon as that first video comes out, the others are going to come in right behind it. So you can see here on the background we have the world of tanks website um and this is a great place to just go and and figure out information um knowing your own information is one of the most important things i think when learning about yourself you can kind of see um you know what your win rate is how often you survive uh your kd um, and what's funny is in this game, it's not so much about as much KD to me as damage. I think damage caused and received is more important. So if you go into a match knowing, okay, my damage received is 1.27 and my goal is to make that go up. My goal is to get to 1.3. Well, you can do that. And if you focus on that, that'll make you a better player. And yes, kills come with doing damage. Um, which is why I, I rely heavily on knowing how well I'm doing based on this. So I'm not the best player in the world, as you can see. Uh, I don't claim to be. That's why I'm going to put this out here right now at the very beginning of the series, because I don't think I'm the best player, but I do know a lot about the game. I've learned a lot from playing on the PC. Transitioning over to a console is completely different. Um, but I have learned a lot, and I think that this is um, a good place to start. Um, you can always come over here, and, and they also have information on every tank right here. But I'm going to show you a couple resources that I use today in this first part outside of the game that if you utilize in your gameplay, you actually will become a much, much better tanker. So the first website that I use is VB Attic, okay? And this site has a ton of information now, none of this information is being pulled from the console side. This is all PC players, but I like to use this because the best players in the game are PC players. I mean, frankly, I mean, that's just the truth. So when you're pulling in information from the best players out there, you can feel confident that 
that's the correct way to play a certain tank or go to a certain area. You can see here on the left side, they have ton of different uh, um, things to look at. World statistics, uh, marks of um, excellence. Uh, you can even watch replays. I think it's just an overview of a battle. But two things that we're gonna look at today on this site that I just wanna kind of, and this is just the surface of this website. It goes very, very deep, but I just wanna kind of go over just the base, the surface of each of these two sites I'm gonna be showing today. So the first one is tank statistics. Now this is very important. So when you start playing a tank and you decide, hey, I wanna know how to play the tank or how do the best players in the world play the tank? What equipment do they use? All you have to do is hit tank statistics on the left and then just hit lifetime right here under battle. And then you can search for your tank. So let's say I wanna look at the T1 Heavy. So you just type in T1 Heavy. Here it is. I don't know what's going on with that image. So you select T1 Heavy. And here comes up all the information about the T1 Heavy. Now these, this is global on the PC information of people who, and I don't want to say everyone, it's anyone that uploads data to this website, which is a lot of people. Um, you can see here he's trying, he, he wants people to help him pay for the site uh, by donating. Uh, he has 50,000 users. So this is essentially, you can as assume that around 50,000 people are uploading data to this website. So it's a pretty good amount of people. And you can see here the accuracy of the T1 in general the damage ratio, damage dealt, you know, all of this. How many kills per battle the T1 usually gets. And now all this information is very, very helpful. What I love about this is that you can go over to crew and you can see what are people mainly using on the tanks. Now, Unicrims, this is, um, Unicums are the best players in the game. So these are the top of the top of the top. Um, these are the one percenters, so to speak, that are just that good at the game. Their rating is really, really high. It takes a lot of effort, a lot of practice, and a lot of experience to become a Unicum. And you can see what the best players in the world are using on as their crew for the T1 Heavy. So you can see repairs, then brother in arms, then camouflage, then firefighting. And you can see these numbers kind of shift here and there from the Unicrums. So obviously you can kind of see what the average player is using and then what the top players are using. I personally strive to be the best player I can possibly be. So I'm always going to usually uh, follow what the Unicrums do. Uh, and it could change depending on the situation or maybe if you're in a certain battle and you you know your team asks for you to run something else then you might want to prefer maybe snapshot over six cents but um which they do actually here but uh or snapshot over firefighting but i find this very important um you can also look at equipment you know, what equipment do the best players use? You can clearly see these are the three equipment that they like to use. The Enhanced, Gunling Drive, Improved Vent, and Caliber. Um, these are the ones that they pick. So this is a really good information to be able to come in, especially if you're just getting to a tank. Let's say you just unlocked the T1. You've never played it. You want to try it out. This is a great resource to be able to come and quickly see what the best players are using which will then effectively help you become better. So the next one is the heat maps. I think this I use more than anything uh, on either one of these sites. Uh, I'm very fortunate I have two monitors. So as I'm playing on the PS4 on my main monitor, I'll have this on the other monitor. And let's say um, I load into a map and it's Cliff. Okay. You click on Cliff. And you see all this heat map here. Now, what is all this? Well, the first tab is by team. So you can see where the red team generally goes and where the green team generally goes. Okay. But let's, let's continue on the T1 heavy. And let's say that we're playing a heavy. We can go and see 
where a majority of the heavies are going to be located. So this helps because you can see down the middle of the map. Let's see if I can click on this and make it bigger. You can see down the middle of the map here, not a ton of heavies. There are some that accumulate right here, but majority are around the edge on the west and on the edge of the east. And you can see how heavy red this is compared to, you know, this is a little bit lighter here. It's pretty dark here, but it's really dark right here, which basically states that majority of the heavies on cliff go this way for both teams. And this is where the fights break out for the heavies. And that helps you because as a heavy, when I'm trying to learn to play a heavy or get better at playing a heavy on cliff, I know that I can best support my team by going this way. Now, it doesn't mean that you can't ever make a move up here or even go in the middle if you want, but there's a reason why majority of players don't go in this area right here as a heavy. It's probably because you're just not as successful if you don't go around the edges. So that is how this site is so helpful in... Um, in providing information of how to play each and every tank and every tank is different you can see TDs a lot of the TDs go on the left side why because TDs are basically snipers and this is a look at this straight shot right here of a, you know being able to hit people um, some go up on top of the mountain right here but majority are on this left side so you know as a TD let me go on the left side or the right if you're coming in from the north and let me try to uh, play like the best players and the majority of players play there's a reason why majority of the players play this way because it's the best way to play and they have a lot of experience now it is really cool you can um, also do a moving tanks and it'll show you how basically uh, the battle um, in general persists so you can kind of see how here go the heavy tanks here the light tanks are rushing up the middle here to spot you've got some TDs over here um, slowly coming in still staying back though they're not really moving forward too much so this is a really good uh, information to have uh, for every single map and I generally even if I know a map I still open it up just to kind of remind myself if I'm playing a heavy and I come on the cliff, you know, and you can do this with any of the maps. Um, they have a ton of maps and there are some maps that they don't have that might, I don't know if it's only because it's only on console and they're not on PC or they just haven't updated it yet or they haven't gotten enough information to provide um, the map. So there are some cases where not every map's on here, but they generally have a lot of maps I even have you know two uh, just depending on if it's winter or not um, and if you click on let's say um, Himseldorf here you can see that capture the flag which is the general game type is different than encounter you know an encounter where you know you both start now in in the, on the console they've changed it where this flag is now over here and it basically flip flop, but I can still use this information because even with the flag here and the starting point here and here, it's essentially the same idea that majority of the people are going to be going over here and you're going to have a few people camping out right here guarding the flank um, on both sides. So it's a good idea of the understanding where teams go. Um, and kind of how you play you can see here as a heavy a lot of the heavies go up here because they can get a nice shot down onto the flag um, so it, it can change a little bit based on the fact that the flag actually spawns over here but it's just good information in general to have um, that a lot of people probably don't utilize so the second website and, and by the way if you do use this site and you do love it I would highly suggest you know making a donation here and there if, if you feel obligated or if you think you can um, because it helps it helps him he's, he's I think it's a one guy operation and he's trying to you know 
not have to pay so much every single month trying to continue to support without having a bunch of ads this whole website is absolutely free to use which is great and i think that's just makes it that much more appealing to use because there's no reason not to when it's free so the second website is tanks.gg i use this a ton as well so i know a lot of you maybe are in a fight and you're shooting at a tank and it just keeps bouncing and just keeps bouncing and just keeps bouncing well what what did you learn from that well you know not to shoot it where you were shooting the tank but how can you learn to learn every single tank and how to get better that's where tanks.gg comes in so i'm going to give you an example first off what's great about this is you can compare tanks you can hit the compare button but let's go to our t1 again we'll continue to roll with the t1 and let's say we want to compare the t1 with another uh tier 5 heavy tank let's say the kv1 it's a pretty popular tank as well so you select both of them and you've got the t1 as your main tank here and you're comparing it to the kv1 as you can see here you can compare it you can say well you know the t1 has more firepower or more power um, mobility wise but it does a lot less damage than the kv1 does um, it's got a decent amount of penetration compared to the kv1 it's got better reload time higher rate of fire uh, the aim time is better dispersion is much lower and that's why it's red so it's really cool to be able to come in here you can see the t1s just move a lot better than the kv1 does but the kv1 does a little bit more damage it seems like so um, and even the damage per, um, per minute is a lot, or not a lot lower because it's not dark red, but you can see it is lower for the T1 compared to the KV1. Now, my favorite part about this site though, that I use more than anything, more than this compare, is actually the 3D model. So, as a 3D model, um, you can see where to penetrate each tank so you can see here the kv1 with the current weapon selected which if you want to select a weapon you select the gun the tank that you're that's attacking your tank and you can select the gun here so right now it's got by default the highest level um, gun but let's say you just unlocked the kv1 and you have the lowest level gun now all of a sudden look at it it went from a hundred percent hitting the t1 to bouncing barely ever hitting it even in a weak spot like right here in the periscope it's only 39 percent you can see on the angle here it's a ricochet now if you're straight flush with the t1 you're going to hit him a hundred percent of the time and that's what's great about the site so let's say I get in a battle with a T1, I just unlocked my KV1, I'm hitting him, I'm hitting it, and I'm not doing any damage. I'm not doing much. It's bouncing a lot. Well, look at this. We know not to shoot the T1 as the KV1 right here at the turret because it's going to bounce almost 100% of the time, okay, um, depending on the angle. Most tanks probably angle yourself like this, and then what you can do is down here, aim as if they were looking at you. So you can see here, oops, sorry. You can see here, they come out, they look at you right here, where do we shoot them? Well, let's see, red is obviously areas that are pretty weak, um, but if they poke out a little too far, hitting them on the side right here, 75% chance. And that's with the weakest gun. Now let's upgrade that gun, let's say we upgrade to the best gun in the game for the kv1 and because of the angle of the t1 you're still only at a 28 percent on the front there but let's say he's looking right at you now you're at a hundred percent compared to when it was only 30 percent so this is very helpful you can do any combination and the way i like to use this is as i said let's say i was a kv1 and I'm fighting a T1 
and I'm keep bouncing and just keep bouncing. Well, that's when I realize, okay, after the battle's done, I'm gonna go to this website. I'm gonna pull up the T1, because that's what I was attacking. I'm going to compare it with the KV1, since that's what I was driving. I'm gonna hit the 3D model. I'm gonna try to find the same angle that he was um, fighting me at. Let's say it's like here. And I know now that when he's looking straight at me with the gun that I have, I actually can get an 81% chance of hitting him right around this turret, okay? I don't want to shoot him here, okay? Um, there's a 100% chance to hit here, but you don't, it doesn't always result in damage when you hit the track. You can see it absorbs it here. So you can hit him here, but the best spot to do damage, I would say, is right around the turret if he's looking right at you and pointing out. Um, so this is a great resource to be able to essentially help you figure out where the weak spots are on each tank. And this, just adding this into your, you know, let's say he's looking at somebody else, 100% on the side right here. You know, don't try to shoot him on the edge right here because if he's looking at someone else, it's only a 50% chance. We know we need to hit this flat surface right here on the turret. Uh, to be able to do 100% damage. We can even come down a little bit right here and maybe damage some modules. Um, so you can see here how angling or even the distance can affect, you know, it's 80% chance from that far off. And it's about the same uh, uh, close, but being able to figure out where, how they angle that you can really help, uh, especially after a battle when you had some issues and we'll talk more about um, actually getting guns uh, later in the series but you know this shows you how important it is to have a powerful weapon at each tier because even fighting the same tier uh, tank uh, the higher the weapon the obviously the more opportunity it is again we lower this to the starting gun look at those percentages it's really low uh, doesn't mean you won't penetrate but it's much, much lower. You have to really get a good shot um, with that gun. So we'll talk about strategy as far as getting all that. But I wanted to show you these two sites first. I think, the again, both of these sites go into much more detail and you can play around with it and kind of figure out some information. Again, you can look at stats, compare, um, but you know, and when I downgraded, by the way, the gun, look at that. Now the T1 is in favor in all these situations. Upgrade it back. Now it's not. So great resources to use. Do not take these for granted. These are all, both free, absolutely free to use. And there's no reason not to, to practice. You know, when you're fighting a T1 and, you know, take a deep breath, realize, that, okay, I'm fighting a T1. Where did I learn on tanks.gg to shoot this tank? And and at what angle and what kind of gun do I have? You know, um, and vice versa. You know, you can know how do I need to angle, uh, and you can use this. You know, how to, if I'm a T1, how should I angle against a, a KV1? Um, even with the the best gun equipped, if I'm angled like this as a T1, look at the chance of them hitting me. I don't want to put my turret out there. Unfortunately, there is a spot here to hit, but if that's all they really have to hit, I mean, I don't really mind. That hiding like right here would probably be the best. Well, a little bit more of an angle. You do have this exposed and this, but that's it. Other than that, they have really not much, assuming like this is a wall right here. They have here and here to hit you, and that's it. So... Uh, and of course the track like right in here but this is the perfect kind of information to determine you can also change to um, different rounds you know premium rounds uh, to see how would a premium round affect in this situation so huge resource and I think that's why I want to talk about these first because outside of the game there are ways to become better it's not just in-game um, in getting better in game because obviously using these resources has helped me tremendously 
And so I know it will help you guys. If you have any questions on how to use the sites, feel free to comment below. I'll be happy to explain a little bit more um, as we get in. And you'll notice when you start using these two sites to help you know where to go on the map as a certain tank or where to hit and how to angle as a tank, um, you'll see these numbers start rising up and up. Your win rate's going to go up. Your survivability is going to go up. Your, your damage and KD is going to go up. It's all going to go up. Um, when I first started playing on the console, because it had been so long since I played on PC, my damage cause was really low. But because of these sites, I've increased that tremendously. It's going up and up and up and up. And it's just the best way to use these sites. And I hope that you guys find this very helpful. So that's it for the part one. And part two is going to be some information on crew members. And this is gonna, that's going to be in-game and how to best um, go up a tank tier. And what I suggest on doing. So we'll do that part um, coming up very shortly. So keep an eye out for that. And then after that, I'm going to actually do all the videos for the light tanks, medium tanks, TDs, all of them, and then just release those periodically uh, as we go on. So I appreciate it, guys. I hope you guys think this is going to be a cool series. Again, it's just trying to help players get better, and that's the key. Um, and so I hope you guys enjoyed it. And be a lookout for part two. If you're not a subscriber, please subscribe. Join the Rough Squad. We always are open for more people to join. Hit that sub button down low. This is your boy Ruff, and I'm out.